Hey guys, it's been a while. This is Bren. Today we are going to review the Antares at Mata Road District 14. Let's go! Why are we featuring the Antares today is because we received a request to review this project from one of our subscribers. So let's take a look at the map to see where the project exactly is. So as you can see, the project is nested in low-rise residentials and many nearby schools. If you know where the Macpherson Market and Food Centre and the Circuit Road Food Centre is, the Antares is just a few minutes walk away. And right beside it is the Mata MRT Station. Some background information on the project. Here's an article from HPROP dated back in 2019 September. FSKH Development was the top bidder for this plot of land through the government land sales. They are actually made up of Hock Lian Seng Holdings, Pyong Hong Holdings and TA Corporation. The site costs $223 million which translates into 1,109 per square foot per plot ratio. It was predicted that the break-even price would be between 1007 to 1008 per square foot. I will link the article below for your reference. So a little bit more on the developers if you have not heard of them and their achievements. Hock Lien Seng has completed projects like the Skywoods and Ark at Gambas. Kyong Hong Holdings has completed projects like J Gateway and Twin Waterfalls. TA Corporation has projects done even back in 2001 which includes Kembangan Villas and Leonie Hill Residences. So they are all renowned developers in Singapore. Okay, let's take a look at the Antares. The land size is actually 6232.2 square meter. The GFA is actually 20,561.1 square meter. It is a 99 year leasehold in District 14 and it is expected to complete in 30 May 2023. It has a total of 265 units ranging from 1 to 4 bedroom apartments. A total of 4 blocks, 2 blocks of 5 storey, 1 block of 17 storey and 1 block of 18 storey. Let us take a look at how the project has actually performed in, uh, since its launch in 2019. As of today, we are shooting the video, 41% uh, of the units have been sold, which is equivalent to about 110 units. Uh, we still have a good mix of uh, 1 to 4 beders left. So let us take a look at the recent transactions. From squarefoot.com, we can actually see that the indicative price range is between 1600 to 1900 per square foot and the average is actually about 1800 per square foot and we can see that the volume for the sales since January is picking up so what's interesting about the project is the number one thing that I want to highlight is the maintenance fee the maintenance fee is very affordable so let's take a look at the chart as you can see from the chart three bedroom will cost you only about 258 to 301 per month which is very rare nowadays even a four bedroom will cost you an estimated uh, $301 per month. What's also interesting is that uh, the developer actually gave us a good unit mix of one to four bedroom. The penthouse units here are actually 4.5 meter of loft space and we even have three bedroom dual key units which are very rare nowadays. You can actually uh, rent it out one side to offset your mortgage or you can even uh, use it as your multi-generation home. So let us now take a look at the one and two bedroom penthouse uh, that is available that I would recommend. For block 190502, it's actually a one bedroom penthouse which is 603 square feet and is going for 992,000 at the point of this video. This translates to 1,646 per square foot. And if you look at the 0503 also on block 19, this is a two bedroom penthouse which is 883 square foot. And it's going for 1.356 million which translates to 1,536 per square foot for this RCR project. Let's take a look at the chart over here. If you can see the two bedroom on the higher block of block 23 and 25, the two bedroom with no high ceiling is actually going for 1,007 to 1,009 per square foot. If I had to recommend, I would definitely recommend the penthouse unit at block 19 because of the 4.5 meter high ceiling and loft space and it is also about 150 to 200 dollars uh, per square foot cheaper than the next block which has no high ceiling so this is definitely uh, worth considering and also 1005 to 1006 per square foot uh, in a city fringe project like this is definitely worth considering there are only three of these one bedroom penthouse left and seven of the two bedroom penthouse left on the lower blocks so if you do like to check them out, do give me a call and I'll arrange a physical viewing 
for you. So next, what's unique about this development is that currently at Mata Road, the entire is the only condominium beside the MRT. Uh, in the future, there may be upcoming projects. Definitely, it will cost more due to the rising construction and building costs, which may even help to boost up the price for the entire Next is the accessibility of the entire the entire race is just a mini walk to the Mata MRT. It can connect you to MacPherson MRT interchange with downtown and Circle Line in just one stop. Or Paya Lebar MRT interchange in two stops to change to the East-West Line. As the location is considered centralised, you can also easily connect to PIE and then KPE or CTE in just a minute drive. The MacPherson Estate is actually beside the Ule and Potong Passe Estate. The upcoming Bidadari Park will actually be just a short distance away. You can actually keep up your healthy lifestyle to head for a jog or scroll. Although there are no major shopping centres within walking distance from the entire race, however, there are two food centres and neighbourhood shops that are just around the corner. If you need to satisfy your shopping experience and dining needs, just hop on the train and head to Paya Station where PLQ Paya Square, Sing Post and Kinex awaits. Next, let's talk about the schools nearby. For primary school, we have Kanosa Catholic Primary School is just a 4 minute walk away. Geylang Methodist Primary is a 4 minute drive away. Secondary school, we have the Sida Girls. Mary Stella just minutes drive away within 2km radius. Nexus International School and Stanford American International School are close by to the entire as well. If you're looking to buy for an investment with the people working along the downtown line, Pai Labour Business Hub and the two international schools, you do not need to worry about finding your next tenant. I hope you have enjoyed the entire episode and you have learned something new. Feel free to approach me and I'll be happy to help. I'm Brent Wang, Talent Singapore and I'll see you soon.